construction time, and many of the big projects are already underway, including Francis from Nevada to Crestline. And starting next month, High Drive from 29th Avenue to Hatch Road will get a makeover. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you now with more details on some of those big road projects. Katie? Nadine, I'm standing here off Francis where westbound lanes are completely torn up. I spoke to some local businesses as well as neighbors who say the roads need the repairs, but there's no doubt the construction is an inconvenience. For many commuters, the nice weather means road closures and detours. There's two seasons in Spokane, it's winter and road construction. <laughs> Sean Mazur is an employee at Spikes, just one of the businesses caught right in the midst of all the construction. The repairs are one of the last projects under the 2004 street bond. Rehabilitating the uh, length from Crestline to Division. The slower days have caused Spikes to make some changes to how they operate. Less hours are available for their employees and... On Mondays and Tuesdays, Tuesdays we've actually started an opening later in the day uh, because we weren't doing enough business during those days to justify being open. The owner of Spikes says the city has bent over backwards to make the construction process as easy as possible and there was no doubt the streets needed the work but still Mazur says it's hard when you got people that want to come in and it's out of your control that they avoid you altogether. The project should be done just in time for football season. That project has a little bit more time, should be done about the end of July. The high drive repairs will be a long-term project. We'll actually go this season and next season, so 2014-2015. First half of rehabilitation is expected to start in June. We'll go from 29th to Bernard Street this first year and sidewalks, bike lanes, uh, a little narrowing of the road. Neighbors agree the roads need to be repaired. They are really, really bumpy and you can actually like hear it when you're driving. Elizabeth Roberg says the construction will interrupt neighbors and the foot traffic. There's like this three mile loop that I know a lot of people do and I think that that would be pretty frustrating. She says for the new roads, it will be worth it in the end. I don't think there's anything we can do about it anyway. You know, pick a different route, people. <laughs> And the city has a map where you can see all the construction for 2014. Just head over to KXY.com to learn how to access that. Reporting in Spokane, Katie Curry, KXOY4 News.